Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School, where tonight the New Bedford Cable Network is proud to present Boys High School Soccer Action. It's the homestanding Whalers of New Bedford High School taking on the Brockton Boxers. Joe Cabral with the action for you this afternoon between the Whalers 2-2-2 two, two, and two on the season and the Brockton Boxers at 4-1-1. One, and one. There you see the Whalers with their head coach, John Masarocco. It's a young squad for John. Uh, this year with only a handful of seniors and as many as eight sophomores on the roster. So a building year for Coach Masarocco looking toward the future. For Brockton, a fine start to the season at 4-1-1 one and, one, and their head coach is Herminio Furtado. New Bedford in the red with white numerals and white trim. Brockton in white with black and red numerals and black and red trim. So getting ready for the start of this evening's match between New Bedford and Brockton. A windy night here now at Andre McCoy Stadium. And we anticipate it playing a bit of a factor on long shots on goal. And then also you have to remember that this is a turf field. So this is field turf here. Ball will bounce quite a bit more and certainly play a lot faster than it would on natural grass. Teams getting ready for the start of this evening's match right at about 6 p.m. So still some daylight, though the lights are on here and we'll take hold fairly quickly as sunset now getting closer and closer to 6.30 p.m. Ready for the start of this evening's match. There you see for Brockton number 10, Edgar DeAndre, a senior. He'll start it off as Brockton has the possession to start the first half. You even see the wind affecting the officials here tonight with long sleeve uh, jackets on top of their normal jerseys. Brockton with the possession here near side. For Brockton, that was number two, Valdemar Rodriguez. And now a throw in here for Brockton. 23 was DeAndre. This is number 21, Marrera. They'll play it back here near side. That was Rodriguez. And they'll play it all the way back to the keeper, Andrade. Wilson Andrade plays it far side. Brockton again with the early possession. Number 12 was Delgado. Anthony Delgado played it far side. Goes into touch, a throw in here now for Brockton. The player down for the boxers. It's number 15, Alessandro Morera. He's back on his feet. He has a free kick, will not be a throw in. Low line drive kick, middle of the field, played far side by the boxers. Number six, Janielson de Brito. Now here near side, New Bedford, trying to track it down. Whalers keep it in play. And for New Bedford, that was Jean-Pierre, Carlens Jean-Pierre, number 14, played it ahead. Now New Bedford with a throw in. Nicholas Rosa looking for Jean-Pierre. Goes beyond the end line. And it will be a corner kick for New Bedford, first of the match. You can see the wind blowing across the screen here now. So against this corner kick, that's a low corner. Just trying to play it up to the edge of the box for New Bedford, that's Tavares. Diego Tavares, a shot that was just wide. First attempted shot on goal here, just wide. And it'll be a goal kick. Check that, it went off of a Brockton defender. So it'll be another corner here for New Bedford, the second early here in the match. 
This time the in-swinger right in front, cleared by Brockton. Tracking it down here near side, that's Marrera, 15. Tried to play it up the sideline to DeAndre. Edgar DeAndre lost it out of bounds, but it went off of New Bedford, so a throw in here for Brockton. That's DeAndre. The ball middle of the field, tracked down here by Benicio Andre for Brockton, and a foul will be called here on Jean Pierre. Carlentz, Jean Pierre, a forward, only a sophomore, the number 14 for New Bedford. As I mentioned, a lot of sophomores on this team. So three years for John Masaraco and Carlos Jean Pierre. Here, play it near side. Brockton taken away by New Bedford. Brockton's had the better of the early possession. Oh, ball nicely played here near side. Nicholas Rosa trying to keep it in play, could not. Be a throw in here for Brockton. Valdemar Rodericks. Brockton clearing. Good job, Red. Number 20 was Tavares, played at far side. 15, Marrera. And dangerous play on the high boot from New Bedford. So Brockton with a quick free kick here, trying to take advantage of New Bedford's lack of readiness here. But nice play at the back line for New Bedford. Number seven now is Herrera. And a whistle here. <laughs> Offside called against New Bedford. Brockton with it. Two is Rodriguez. Played it here near side. Brockton changing the field here, getting it to Marrera. New Bedford trying to track it down far side. That was Chris Gonzalez, number 20 for New Bedford. He'll have the throw in. They'll have Jose Correa handle it. For New Bedford, that's Diego Tavares, plays it near side. Edahai Mejia. Mejia played it ahead, got it to 19. Rosa tried to get it back to Mejia. Good job, Red. And it will be a possession here for New Bedford. They'll work it on goal, a shot there by Rosa and handled by the keeper, Andre. Second shot, and this is the first one on the frame for New Bedford. Ball played here near side. 11 is Wadley. Paul Wadley played it back, got it to Rodericks, and now Brockton with it. Work it up far side of the field. 18 is Pino Santos. There's a turnover, chance here for New Bedford, but they do not have numbers. They'll play it here near side for Herrera, seven. He could not track it down, it ends up on the boot of Rosa. Now Herrera, looking for Rosa in space. Nicely weighted ball there. Rosa with a cross in front and cleared out by Brockton. Nice work there by New Bedford to attack along this near side flank, but just came up short. Nice cross there, however, by Rosa. Ball played middle of the pitch here, and here's New Bedford with it. 17 was Diego Tavares, played it back to Mejia. Mejia tried to walk around a man, had it taken away. This is Brockton's Wadley. Wadley had it tackled away by number 18, Carter Barboza on the back line. He's a senior. One of only four for New Bedford, and he played it beyond the sideline, so it'll be a throw in here for Brockton. New Bedford trying to clear here near side. Rodericks was in a battle with Rosa. 
Ball runs along the sideline, goes into touch. It'll be a throw in for Brockton. Twenty one is Marrera. Along this near sideline. Marrera trying to get to the edge of the box. He's tripped up. No call there. It was right at the edge of the box, and the officials obviously very hesitant about calling a foul because it becomes a goal, it becomes a penalty kick if you do so. So held his whistle, though it did look like there was a foul committed. Mejia will handle the free kick. Goes into touch, a throw in here now for Brockton. Rodericks quickly got it to number 11, Wadley. Two players from New Bedford collided and they're down. Nineteen Rosa, he's back up on his feet. Nicholas Rosa. And number seven, Kevin Herrera. Both are back up. Seem to be fine. So New Bedford will have to substitute for these players, though they get back up on their feet. They're going to substitute for Herrera. They'll leave Rosa in. Number six is Albert Guardado. So Guardado checking in for Herrera. Thirty-one, thirty-two remaining in this first half. Mejia with a free kick, a ball that is headed and handled there by the keeper, Andrade. Wilson Andrade, the keeper for Brockton. Far side of the pitch, that's Benicio Andrade. And now they'll go back to, to the goalkeeper, Andrade. So a pair of Andrades working in tandem there, here near side. 11 is Wadley. Ball goes into touch. It'll be a throw in here for Brockton. Here's Rodericks. And then the ball off the boot of Wadley. A throw in now for New Bedford and Mejia. Mejia got it to number six, Guardado. Played it back, Barboza. Now Mejia along the sideline. Had it taken away, a foul is going to be called against Wadley. So New Bedford here with the free kick. About 55 yards from goal, so difficult to get it to the area with a lot of intent, but that's the goal here, and he does play a, a nicely weighted ball that's headed out by Brockton. Far side of the pitch, New Bedford trying to get it back toward the box. Tracked down here by Brockton's Marrera. Brockton unable to clear, that's Guardado, number six. Bump from behind, the official says play on. Here we go with Brockton in transition. Playing at far side of the field. Players stumbling for both New Bedford and Brockton and they're going to say it's New Bedford with the throw in or, or a free kick, a foul was called. New Bedford trying to take advantage here it was close to an offside, but they said play on, and the ball ends up in the hands of Andrade, who came out. Far side, that was Benicio Andrade for Brockton. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Throw in here for Brockton. Of course, one of the challenges here at Andre McCoy is there's a lot of space because of the track. 
So when the balls go into touch, sometimes they run quite a distance. You've got to have a lot of balls to uh, get back into play. You can see here, that ball went way out there, but it's getting tracked down. And here's Mejia with the throw in. They'll play it back to Guardado. Very dangerous to play the ball back at the at high school level. And there you see the steal. And the reason why, ball played at the edge of the area. And an offside is called. Very questionable there. Unfortunately, we don't have replay for you tonight. So we can't take a look at it. But it was very close. Wadley tried to curl one. Looked like it might have been onside. Remember the... On, the um, the offside rule is you have to be offside when the ball is played, not when you get to it. So if you're onside when the ball is played and you run beyond the defender, that's fine. Brockton with possession here. Number four was Wolf Lenz Victor. So Victor played it far side. Now it ends up here on the boot of Andrade. Benicio Andrade. Still with it. Collides with Guardado. They're going to call a foul here. And they're going to call this against Brockton and Andrade. So New Bedford will have a free kick here. Again about 50 yards from goal. Number four for the Whalers, Gabriel Pixoto. Pixoto is one of the seniors. Tries to just chip one to the front edge of the box. New Bedford trying to get there. Cannot. Brockton attempting to clear here. That's number four, Victor. He plays it on the far side. Brockton still with it. No real chances so far tonight for either squad. As a ball that Brockton possesses. Boxers have the, the better of the possession, but New Bedford has had really the only shot on goal, even though it wasn't a dangerous one. Foul called here against New Bedford. Brockton plays it quickly. Number 10 is DeAndre. Played it far side of the pitch. The cross will run beyond the sideline. It'll be a New Bedford throw in. And some substitutions for New Bedford Herrera. Seven checks back in along with number five, Michael O'Leary. Mejia will handle the throw in. Goes to Herrera down the line and Herrera just tries to clear but ends up middle of the field. Pass here near side. Number two is Rodericks. They'll get it here to 21, Marrera. 18, Pina Santos, and now again, Rodericks. Oh, he lost it on the dribble to the sideline. New Bedford with the throw in. Here's Mejia. Oh, nice steal here by Brockton, anticipating the pass, but a turnover here. And number eight is Al Amaral. He played it ahead, nearly had it into space but it was taken away and the whistle here looks like a foul is being called here against New Bedford 24 53 remaining here in the first half ball played near side here's Rodericks comes off a boot ends up in the possession of Marrera Marrera played it ahead, got it to Wadley. Wadley has looked dangerous so far, and that was a nice cross from this left sideline. The opportunity ran by the keeper for New Bedford Molina. First dangerous opportunity there against Molina. I believe they were looking for number 18, Pina Santos. Just could not get there for Brockton, so it ends up being a goal kick for New Bedford. Whalers play it far side, playing it into space. Jean Pierre, 14. 
Jean-Pierre still with it. Nice dribble there by Jean-Pierre. Looking for, he, go, he went for a back heel. Oh, he was looking to play it back when I think he had the opportunity to continue to attack or go with a cross. A little too much from Jean-Pierre there. But he's only a sophomore. Number 11 is Wadley. Brockton has an impressive team this year. Usually they're a team that just plays north and south. T tonight they're playing the possession game. They have the type of players who can do it. Here Brockton working it here near side, looking for Wadley. Herrera for New Bedford. Changing the field, goes far side. That was New Bedford's number 22, Luis Meza Flores. He's a junior. Ball goes beyond the goal line. It'll be another corner kick for New Bedford. They've had several already here in the first half. There you see Mesa Flores. In swinging kick from Mason Flores. And Herrera with the half volley on the loose ball. And there's a player down for New Bedford. Looks like number four, Peck Soto. That happened during the corner kick as the ball was coming in. Often they send up your, def your defenders because they're the taller players generally and you work on headers when you get the ball into the area so Pixoto may be taking a knock there obviously taking a knock now heads out seems to be fine he's going to head back to his position Brockton in here with a goal kick number 20 is Tavares Brockton with it here looking to play it into space there's a nice ball Brockton trying to attack here from behind a shot that's on, off the side of, of, no, that's a goal from a bad angle. What a shot there from number 15, Alessandro Morera. Morera from a bad angle. Looked initially like it might have gone off the side of the net. No, but he was able to find that short side post. And a goal from Alessandro Morera with 21 20 remaining, so scoring in the 18th minute. Now they're, they're looking up at the netting and saying that went through the side of the net. You see New Bedford here arguing that that went through the side of the net, that there's a hole in the netting, and that looked like it could have been the case here, and we'll see if they go back and take a look at it. If the officials take a look, you see the New Bedford players pointing to the top corner of the net, saying that there's a hole there and that it went through the net. But the officials are going to have none of it. I don't know why they'd be pointing to that if that wasn't the case. Let's see if the referee goes and takes a look. You can see right there, they're trying to hook that corner of the net back up top where it would connect with the post. But the officials, again, not showing that they're overly concerned that that is not a goal. You can see New Bedford, their sideline, insisting that that went through the corner. And you see, let's see if we see John Masaraco now meeting with the referee. You can see him there telling the referee that that went through the side of the net. And again, from here, it looked like that was the case. It looked like the ball went off the side of the net, but then we found it in the net. And unfortunately, we don't have replay again tonight, so we can't really go back and take a look at it. But the referee is, is telling New Bedford that, you know, that's a goal. First of all, they talked to Masaraco, then the New Bedford defender, I believe that's... Number four, Pexoto, is arguing that went through the side of the net. But it's going to count. 
Number five is Michael O'Leary, played it here near side. Got it to João Pedro de Santos. Mejia, gonna let it run across the sideline. So that goal came in the 19th minute. Free kick here for Mejia. Played at middle of the field. Now New Bedford, far side. Whalers trying to attack here. 22 again is Mesa Flores. Throw in here now. No, it's a free kick. Brockton with it. Boxers play at middle of the field. Near side, Rodericks. Mesa Flores had it taken away. 18 for Brockton is Pina Santos. Plays it up the sideline. Got it to Delgado. Ball goes into touch, a throw in for Brockton. It'll be number 15, the goal scorer, Marrera. There was a cross there. Here's Marrera again. Going to try that bad angle goal again. Not this time. Blocked down by New Bedford, but that'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Ball lofted to the edge of the box. Tracked down here by Pixoto. Played in front, handled by the keeper there for New Bedford, Nelson Molina. He's a junior. Goalkeepers on both sides. A bit on the smaller side than what you normally see in goal. Here's a ball played back to Rodericks. Now Rodericks will get it back to number four, Victor. That was Andrade. As again, Brockton changes the field and works it up that far sideline. Now New Bedford here. Five is O'Leary. He'll get it back. Taken away by Brockton. But Mejia is there for New Bedford. No, Mejia works it to Mesa Flores. Lisa Flores tried to change the field for New Bedford, could not. It was taken away by Wadley. He's been impressive in the midfield here for Brockton. Play it back to Rodericks. The boxers confident to play their passing game and have handled it well so far against New Bedford's pressure. Ball goes beyond the sideline. It'll be a throw in here for New Bedford. Mates. Check that Mejia with a throw in. O'Leary trying to track it down for New Bedford. Ball goes off of O'Leary. Here's Mejia. And he lost it beyond the sideline. Quick throw in here for Brockton. They're going to play a ball ahead. Knotted down by Pixoto. Brockton trying to change the field here, but it's taken by New Bedford, then a giveaway. Rockton with an opportunity here. Work it far side, trying to get it to Victor. Ball goes beyond the sideline, it'll be a Brockton throw in. There you see Andrade, number three. Benicio Andrade with the throw in. Got it to number 20, Tavares, and then the ball Played across the field. And 
New Bedford here with the throw in. Whaler's in no hurry to make this throw in. 15 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. A goal coming in the 19th minute for Brockton and their number 15, Alessandro Marrera. Ball goes into touch. It'll be a throw in for Brockton. Here's Rodericks. Tried to go down the sideline, but he'll track it down now middle of the field. Got it to number 15, Marrera, but it came off his boot. And New Bedford trying to work some transition here. Pass way ahead to Gonzalez. Chris Gonzalez, number 20, trying to track it down. Brockton is there. Ball goes beyond the goal line. No whistle. Let's see what the call is. I think they're going to say it's going to be a goal kick, even though it seemed to go off the Brockton player. The official held the whistle. So it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Andre plays it quickly. Brockton's not afraid to play with the ball in their own end. Come on, Willis, take the ball from them. 21 is Marrera. That's Jason Marrera for Brockton. He'll get it back. Marrera. Wadley. Wadley again. He'll play it back. Rodericks. Brockton very confident. Oh, they play it nicely there to Wadley on the run. Wadley tries to go across the field. Aaron pass, but it's given right back to Andrade for Brockton. 20 is Tavares. Giveaway here in New Bedford trying to work some transition. Nine is Pedro de Santos. Had it taken away. Ball is played ahead looking for Wadley. And New Bedford just clears. Just the one, just the start. 17 for the Whalers is Diego Tavares. New Bedford still looking for their first real scoring chance. They have a shot on goal and a couple of shots attempted. Is a ball played into space, it's gonna be an offside. The linesman on the near side lifted the flag immediately, no hesitation. Call the offside for New Bedford. That was Nicholas Rosa now on the far side, playing on the left side, thought he might have had an opportunity to walk in. Ball will be called here against Brockton. Player down for New Bedford. Let's see who it is. It was number 15, Jose Carrillas. New Bedford here with the free kick. Looks like I thought Carrillas was going to handle it. He will not. Someone will come up for New Bedford and do so. It'll be Pexoto. Strategy normally is to go to the far side post. Plays this one right in front. Oh, that was a nicely played ball by Pexoto. New Bedford was there, but Brockton able to clear. A legitimate chance there. New Bedford just plays it along that sideline. And the ball will go into touch. It'll be a throw in for Brockton. Just under 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. 1 0 in favor of Brockton on a goal by number 15, Alexandro Marrera. And that goal came in the 19th minute to give Brockton this 1-0 lead. There's a ball played near side. Looking that time for number five, De Vega in the lineup for the first time for Brockton. Pass was too strong. Here is De Vega. 
Brockton here working a lot on this near sideline. Now it goes far side of the pitch. Ball played ahead, taken away here by Andre for Brockton, given right back to New Bedford. Foul will be called here against Brockton. Again, they'll bring up Pixoto. Pixoto lofts one far post. Looking for it was Juan Pedro de Santos. He's only a sophomore. Could not get it on the frame. Ball goes beyond the goal line. Goal kick here for Brockton. It's interesting how Brockton has handled these goal kicks. Very, very short goal kicks. They decide to try to pass it up generally. Let's see, this time I don't think that'll be the case. There is the longer boot from the goalkeeper, Andre. Brockton here, near side. Boxers will play it back. That's number 12. Anthony Delgado in for the first time for Brockton. That's Victor, number four. Near side, number five, De Vega. Got it to Licinio Antunes in the lineup for the first time. So Brockton has a lot of subs out there right now. Let's see if New Bedford can take advantage. Near turnover. He'll play it here near side. There's a ball played for De Vega. Too much on it from Antoon, so it'll be a throw in here for New Bedford. They try to get it in quickly. Here's Herrera. Kevin Herrera had it taken away, and Brockton just tossing it middle of the field. So New Bedford here with some better possession as Brockton has gone to their bench a bit. Let's see if the Whalers can take advantage. Oh, bad pass there. Aaron Pass was taken away by Antunes. Tried to play it far side. Now New Bedford with it. Whalers with the better of the possession once Brockton went to the bench. What a foul is called here. Looks like Pexoto will handle it again. He's done a great job with these free kicks. Again, played it right toward the front edge of the box. New Bedford with it, Mejia. Got it middle of the field, but it was taken away by Brockton. Number five is De Vega. They're trying to find him here near side. He could not get there. Ball will go into touch. It'll be a throw in for Mejia for New Bedford. Just over seven minutes remaining here in the first half. Ball taken away quickly there by Brockton's Tavares. Got it to Antunes. Aaron passed there again from Asinio Antunes as Brockton was threatening. O'Leary. Ball chipped ahead. Jean-Pierre trying to track it down, but Victor is a solid defender. Made a nice play there. Now Brockton working quickly along that far flank. They have an opportunity here. It's taken away nicely by Pexoto. And he plays one into space. That's off a of Brockton defender. They'll say that's onside for Jean-Pierre. Oh, he fanned on the shot. So it came off a Brockton defender, ended up on the boot of Carlens Jean-Pierre. The sophomore had an opportunity, but was trying to play it on the half volley and just scrubbed it wide of the far post. That's coming in the 34th minute as New Bedford had their best chance of the match for Carlens Jean-Pierre. This is Wilson Andre. Ball 
or goes beyond the far sideline. There'll be a throw in here for New Bedford. Again, Whalers have done a better job on the attack here when Brockton went to some of their reserves. Foul is called against Brockton. That's going to set up a free kick. I think they'll bring up, as they have been doing, Peck Soto. He's been dangerous with these. Lie, lofted nicely near side, po far near side post. It was knotted back across and off the mark. They were looking for Jean Pierre on the far side post after the ball came initially off the free kick to the near side. That was turned away. So Brockton defending well and holding on to this one nil lead here late in the first half. Break here with five minutes remaining in the half. Players come over to the sideline, can get a drink of water, some Gatorade. And there you see head coach John Massaracco with his instructions and then on the Brockton side, of course, that's Herminio Furtado has a fine squad here. 6-1-1 one, and one on the season. Uh, check that, 4-1-1 one, and one on the season. And you can see why. Brockton usually does not play the possession game. They have beaten New Bedford in years past, but it's really north and south. Just get the ball quickly, play it ahead, use your speed, try to break into space. We've seen some upsets from Brockton over New Bedford. But this is a different type of squad for the boxers. Playing the game a lot like New Bedford likes to play it. Possess the ball. Build momentum. Build your offense from that back line. And then try to finish from there. So both teams head back out on the field. With five minutes left in the first half. Wilson Andrade with a goal kick for Brockton. Middle of the field, that's Pixoto. There's another dangerous ball. Can New Bedford track it down far side? For the Whalers, that's number 19, Rosa. They have Nicholas Rosa on that side now. They get it to O'Reilly. Again, back looking for Rosa. Brockton will play it into touch. It'll be a throw in from the sideline. Not far from the corner, New Bedford getting it in to Guardado, number six, had it taken away. Brockton trying to work some transition here as New Bedford tries to get back. Whaler's doing a good job to get back defensively. Ball played here near side. That's Herrera. Herrera had it taken off his boot. Got it near side to Antunes, but then it was stolen by New Bedford. We have a timeout on the field. We're in the final five minutes of the first half. Player down for New Bedford. That's Herrera. He's back up. Number 12 is Delgado. New Bedford's Mejia for Jean-Pierre. Oh, nicely handled there by Brockton's number 12, Delgado. Anthony Delgado played it near side. Pass was off the mark, goes into touch, throw in for New Bedford. New Bedford going to work it up this sideline. Try to get yourself in position to do some damage. 
Long shot off the frame and wide. That came from number nine, Pedro de Santos. Brockton with it here near side, Delgado. New Bedford with a takeaway, Guardado got it ahead to Tavares and then Brockton able to clear. Again, we're in the final five minutes here. Clock has stopped, so it's hard to tell how much time remaining in the first half. Officials keeping the time on the field. Here's a ball for Antunes. Antunes worked at middle of the field, got it to DeAndre. He plays it far side. Oh, and there was a hard hit right on the edge of the box and again the officials hesitant to blow the whistle if that's inside the box because that means a penalty kick so they hold the whistle but it was pretty aggressive on that far side and number 15 Alessandro Marrera is saying come on that's a bit much but no whistle Rockton trying to play it in front. Ball is handled there by the keeper, Molina. Brockton on the attack again. Far side goes off of Brockton, ends up in the, on the boot of Pixoto. He'll play it ahead. O'Reilly for New Bedford. Got bodied off the ball by number 10, DeAndre. And the official says, play on. Oh, nice move there by Pedro de Santos. Remember, he's only a sophomore. Turned his man nicely. Here's Mejia. That'll be a foul call as Mejia was sent sprawling out of bounds. Free kick here for New Bedford. Number 24 is Edai Mejia. <laughs> Mejia, oh, played it nicely ahead. That's number nine, Dos Santos. Tried to work to the edge, edge of the area, had it taken off his boot by Antunes. And that'll do it. First half comes to a close. With the score, Brockton one, New Bedford nothing. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have second half action for you on the New Bedford Cable Network. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like, they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org.
We're just underway with second half action with the score. Brockton 1 and New Bedford nothing. Joe Cabral with the action for you on the New Bedford Cable Network. The lights, of course, now fully engaged here as it's dark at Andre McCoy Stadium. Ball goes beyond the goal line. It'll be a, a corner kick here for Brockton, so an opportunity for the boxers. Number 15 for Brockton is their goal scorer, Alessandro Morera. In swinger there for Morera. Brockton trying to get a shot on goal. That one just runs wide. That came from Antunes. New Bedford's pick Soto. And Brockton's going to take an errant pass here. That was Rodericks. They'll get it to Morera. Ball goes beyond the sideline with Pexoto tumbling along with Marrera, and they're going to say here it's a free kick to Brockton. This is a very dangerous area because now you can really swing that ball to the far side. You see all the players congregating there, far side post just outside the edge of the box. There's that in swinger in front. Player goes down for Brockton, and the ball is handled there by Molina. Very um, an issue without without any issue there. Easy ball for for Molina to handle. They'll pass it here near side again, looking for Marrera. Marrera was bodied that time by Correas, and Correas took it away. Plays it along the sideline. Now here's Marrera. He's very dangerous. Gets by Correas. He's sent sprawling. Again, the official holding the whistle there is looking, I would say, to see how close to the box are you. And you're outside the box. That's a, that's a legitimate foul. There's no question there. As Correas ran Marrero right into the ground. But if that would have been in the box, he probably would have held the whistle. So here's Alessandro Marrero. Very dangerous from here. Chips at far side, post, no one there for Brockton. New Bedford trying to clear. And a foul is called against Brockton as a New Bedford player is down. Is Peck Soto, he'll handle the free kick. Big leg from Gabrielle Peck Soto. Ball played along that far sideline. Goes into touch, a throw in here. That's Herrera. Left the ball there for Dos Santos. He didn't know that was happening, and so it ends up being a turnover. Here's Marrero. Tried to play it ahead. It was taken away by New Bedford, and they clear. Victor will play it all the way back to the keeper, Andrade. He will handle it there and then play it near side to Rodericks. Up the sideline. Got it to number eight, Fernandes. Seeing some action here now. Ball into touch, throw in for Brockton. Ball nodded ahead. They were looking for number 13, Texera. But check that, number 10, DeAndre. He could not get there. Herrera for New Bedford. Whalers trailing it 1 0 on a questionable goal. Nice takeaway there by Pexoto. Tried to play it ahead. Jean Pierre, he's got to be offside. He was way ahead of the pack. And the official on the far side, the linesman on the far side with the flag up. Brockton with it. Come on, Far side 
of the pitch. Brock, boxers lose it along the sideline, but it'll be a throw in for Brock Dennis. It was taken and put into touch by Julio Guardado, number 13. Throw in for New Bedford. Well, uh, Brockton, I should say, tried to get it into the area, handled there nicely by Molina. Ball near side here. New Bedford trying to work on the attack. Herrera trying to track it down. Victor guarding the play here. The official said there's a foul back here. So the referee's going to bring it all the way back. Foul called on Brockton. But now Brockton is able to get back. So here's Gabriel Pixoto. Everyone for New Bedford headed toward that far side for the most part. Pixoto again toward the edge of the box. Ball breaks loose in front. Chance there. Shot blocked at the defense. Brockton trying to clear and they're able to do so. João Pedro de Santos had a chance there, but it was blocked at the defense. And then Brockton was able to clear. Throw in here for New Bedford. Tried to get it ahead to Herrera. Brockton desperate to clear here, and they do. That was Barboza nodding it forward. New Bedford trying to attack from the midfield. Can't do so here, and it's Brockton with possession. Brockton trying to work on the attack here. Oh, nice, nicely defended there by Mejia. Plays it way up here to Dos Santos. Now ahead of the pack, that's Jean-Pierre. Trying to get to the edge of the area. Oh, he was taken down. Official is going to say corner kick. He was looking to draw the penalty. And you can see, very hesitant to throw, to, to call a penalty kick here as Jean-Pierre maybe went down a little bit too easy. New Bedford with a corner kick from the near side. That's Herrera. Kevin Herrera. Taking a long time here. Everyone's jockeying for position in front. Herrera, big boot, far side post. Runs beyond everyone here. And it's taken by Antunes. Still running with it up that sideline. A give and go. He'll get it back. Went the length of the field there. And then the ball's put into touch. Throw in here for Brockton. Throw in and then it goes out off of Brockton, I believe. So a throw in for New Bedford and Guardado. Let's see here. Official calling for substitutions. Brockton leading it 1-0. On a goal by number 15, Alexandro Morera, that might have gone in from the outside of the netting. New Bedford protested it for a bit, saying there's a hole here. And it looked like initially on the shot, I called it as going off the side of the net. Yet when we looked at it, it was in the net. So could have gone through a hole on the side of the net. Everyone from New Bedford thought so, but the officials said no. Is a player that's sent to the turf for Brockton, so it'll be Brockton with a free kick from a dangerous area. It'll be Marrero, again, the goal scorer. Fires right in front, headed out. Brockton trying to get a shot on net, blocked twice. Molina with a couple of saves. 
Excellent work there from the goalkeeper, Nelson Molina. Cut down the angle, and when Brockton was scrambling to get shots on, he was right there. Pass along that far side will run beyond the goal line. That'll be a goal kick for New Bedford. Twenty-nine minutes and thirty seconds remaining. So in the second half, we've already played ten and a half minutes. That means we're in the fifty-second minute. Pixoto. Handball called on Brockton. Peg Soto. For New Bedford, that's Rosa. Tried to get it in front. New Bedford is there. Brockton again, working hard to clear. That was O'Reilly. Played it far side, and now Brockton able to clear to the midfield. You got something going on here. Referee blowing the whistle. Is he going to his pocket? Not seeing a card yet, but he's going to go over and talk to the Brockton head coach, Herminio Furtado. Oh, check that. He's going to talk to the new Bedford player. Rosa. So, some discussion here going on. The referee saying, well, delivering his piece, didn't bring out a card, but obviously he saw two players engaging in some activities he didn't like. Ball comes here near side. 15 is Correas. O'Reilly for New Bedford plays it back. Check that for the Whalers. It was Amaral, Alfonso Amaral, number eight, not number five. That's O'Reilly. He'll play it near side. That's Rosa. For New Bedford, that was Pixoto, number four. Taken away here by Brockton. They're going to try to work some transition here. They have Marrero near side. Got him the ball. Edge of the area. Marrero again sent sprawling. No foul. They'll say play on. Here's a ball played ahead to Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre. And they're going to say he's offside. He's saying, come on. <laughs> he raised, looks to the heavens. Like, how can I be onside? I was shoulder to shoulder with that defender. You hear a lot of the fans here in the background arguing that there was a foul there. It shouldn't have been an offside. Brockton on the attack again. For Brockton, that's number 20, Tavares. Got it to the edge of the area. Oh, that was blocked in front. Very dangerous. That was Marrero who had a big shot, and now he's on the turf again. The foul is called against Brockton. Here's Pixoto with a free kick. Marrero. Marrero. Still on the attack. Long shot. Blocked at the defense. Oh, a chance there, and he just whiffed on it. Big opportunity there for Brockton. Just outside the box, about 20 yards from goal. Players are falling now as fatigue sets in to some degree. Lots of players down on the turf. Last few exchanges. There's a ball played ahead. It'll get through. Opportunity here. For Brockton, that was number 13, Texera. Squandered that chance. Now has the ball along the goal line. Passes it out front. Oh, what a stop by Pexoro. 
And New Bedford's appealing here, saying you have to blow the whistle, Mr. Official. But he did not, and Pixoto with a big save. It ends up being a corner kick for Brockton. Here's Morero again, very dangerous. Headed out nicely by New Bedford. Get it out of there, Wheeler! Brockton with it. Possession here near side. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Throw in for Brockton. That's Rodericks. Tried to get it to Morero. He's everywhere. He'll get it to Marrero, trying to get to the front edge of the box, had it taken away. Here's Herrera, passes it near side, Rosa, Nick Rosa. Ball played here, looking for Herrera, too much on it. Goes beyond the sideline, throw in here for Brockton. This is Rodericks. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Guardado, number six, back in. Albert Guardado. Looking for the throw in here, gets it to Rosa. There's Marrero, just came right in front of Rosa. And he, again, he's sent to the turf. Official says play on. Uh, Brockton continuing to be aggressive here. And the ball blown dead here. It'll be a free kick for Brockton. Rockton with it. Get it out. Get it to, to Marrero. He'll play it here near side. That's 13, Texera. And a nice clear there by New Bedford. Whalers trying to work quickly here for the Whalers. That's Tavares. Play it here to Jean Pierre. Tried to get it back to Rosa. Ball goes into touch. A throw in though, but it belongs to New Bedford. Guardado. They'll play it back and get it here near side to Guardado. Let's go! Good job, Gabriel! Far side of the pitch. Brockton with it. Ball nodded down. O'Reilly played it far side. Pass was too strong, too long. Ends up being a throw in for Brockton. 1 0. Brockton still leading it on a goal way back in the 19th minute by Alessandro Morera. Victor for Brockton, played it far side. An attack here, three on three. Brockton try to get it near side to Marrero. Again, he's very dangerous. Oh, they're gonna go give and go here. Could not get it back to Marrero, but Brockton is still there. Ball goes off of New Bedford, and it's a throw in here for Brockton's number eight, Fabio Fernandez. Instead, he's going to hand it off to Rodericks. Valdemar Rodericks. 
Throw in, in front. Wild attempt there by Alessandro Tavares, 20. There's a long shot just over the crossbar. Had plenty on it. And it's going to end up being a corner kick, it looks like. You can see it there. I believe it went off the, the hand of the goalkeeper, Nelson Molina, and then off the crossbar of the football goalpost behind the crossbar of the net. Marrero with a, with a corner kick. Player going down for Brockton. Chance in front. Big time opportunity. New Bedford able to clear. Ends up back on the boot of Marrero. Brockton still on the attack here. Going to get it back to Marrero. He thought about the cross. Keeps it instead. Plays it off a New Bedford player to get a throw in. Number 15, Alessandro Morera is everywhere for Brockton. They get him the ball back, chips to the, to the box and it's cleared by Pixoto. Whistle here. Official says, referee says free, ki free kick for New Bedford. Played here near side. Rosa looking for Herrera. Ball goes beyond the no, it was yes, does go beyond the sideline. Be a throw in here for New Bedford. Still trailing it one nil. Tracked down by Wadley. We haven't called his name much in the second half. He was a going concern in the first half for Brockton. Again, Brockton not really utilizing those long goal kicks. Happy to maintain possession and build from the back line. Right in front. Oh, Rosa had a chance. He tried for the volley and just fired it wide. The ball was placed well on the right boot of Nick Rosa. But again, didn't think he had time to settle it, so instead tried to play it on the full volley and fired it wide. I think this time, Andre's going to say, we're not going to play around with it here on our back line. New Bedford with it. Herrera. Taken away by the boxers. Middle of the field, back. And now played ahead by Brockton, trying to build on the offense. Get it here near side, Marrera. They say he's on side. And the goalkeeper, Molina, came off his line and challenged Marrera. And he needed to do so, because without that, he would have walked in alone. It's a corner kick again for Brockton and Marrera. Right in front, and that time it's a goal. The ball was nicely placed. And headed home. <laughs> and I think there's a dispute over who scored the goal. It looked like number 18 for Brockton. Anthony Pina Santos is saying he headed it home. Yeah, and he's showing like I headed that in and it looked like Marrero was somehow trying to take credit, but it's 2-0. We don't have replay again, so can't tell you exactly, but it certainly looked like it was headed home by Pina Santos. Anthony Pina Santos, we're going to call him the goal scorer. And he does so 
in the 64th minute. Two nil Brockton. New Bedford really up against it now with only about 16 minutes left. Ball played here near side Rosa. Rosa dribbled to the goal line where it's taken there by the goalkeeper, Wilson Andrade. They get it up this near side. New Bedford, of course, now desperate for some offense. Fernandes will play it back. That's Rodericks. Again, more from Brockton, far side of the pitch. That time it was number 14, Vieira Gonsalves, playing it ahead for the boxers. Throw in here now for Brockton. Brockton clears. Boxers, of course, now. will be very conservative. Here's an opportunity working his way in, a shot. It, was, it goes off Peck Soto. That came off the boot of DeAndrade. Then tries for the cross, and it will run beyond the goal line. It's going to be a goal kick for New Bedford. Peck Soto. A low kick from Pexoto, near turnover. O'Reilly there for New Bedford, comes away with it. New Bedford trying to attack, get it to Rosa. Pass was there a little too late, but it ends up being a handball, I believe. Called on Rosa, it looks like. Fourteen minutes remaining. Two nil. Brockton leading New Bedford. Ball played here. Marrero. A give and go. Trying to get it back to him. New Bedford's back defensively here. Rosa. He'll just play it into touch. Some of the fans not liking that. My Portuguese is a bit rusty, but I could tell that that wasn't one of the favorite plays that they've seen here from New Bedford. Ball attacking right in front. What a play and a shot that's fired over the crossbar. An aggressive attack there. So well done that time by number 20, Alessandro Tavares. Just fired it over the crossbar after dribbling his way right in front. Had a chance to make it 3-0, Brockton. Marrero just walking over the ball, letting it go out of bounds. The official said, well, you thought it was going to be your throw-in, but it's New Bedford instead. Along the sideline. Here we go on the attack. That's number 10, DeAndrade. Tried to walk his way in. He sent to the turf, no call. Long shot and handled by Molina. That again came off the boot of Tavares. Player down for Brockton is Edgar DeAndrade, number 10. For New Bedford Guardado, reaching for his stomach. Just over 12 minutes remaining here. Player down for New Bedford on the sideline. Looks like Pexoto, number four, doubled over. Yeah, 
stopping the clock here with 12-19 remaining. 2-0 in favor of Brockton. Goal scorer is for the boxers. In the 19th minute, Alessandro Marrera. And in the 64th minute, Anthony Pina Santos. Trainer looking at Gabrielle Pixoto, I believe, number four. There you see some of the crowd here tonight. Fall is definitely in the air. Temperature right now at 7.30 is 55 degrees. Still attending to Peck Soto. As we mentioned earlier, Brockton with a fine squad, 4-1-1 one one on the season for head coach Herminio Furtado. New Bedford at 2-2-2 two, two two coming into this one. And what's interesting when you look at the rosters as Pixoto is helping, is being helped off, so not the, a great sign there. Not able to put weight on that leg. Goes on the cart. Not sure if it just some type of collision or something else instead, but certainly not feeling his best at this point. Trainer continuing to look at Pexoto. Again, soccer, it's hard to tell. A lot of the injuries are just, you're just, you know, colliding a shin bone with someone else's shin bone. So it can hurt an awful lot, but you can recover. So really no idea what happened with Gabrielle. It was off the screen. There's head coach John Masarocco talking with his squad, saying, here's what we need to do to attack here. We're down 2 nothing, so we're going to have to gamble a bit. I'm sure he's probably working on his alignment, changing the way the formation will look so he can get more offense here or more opportunities. Brockton has done such a fine job of possessing the ball when they have it, however, and they've not really turned it over in key situations. So even if you make an adjustment in your formation, that really doesn't guarantee you're going to generate much more offense. Brockton is back out on the field, and Bedford still meeting with their head coach, Masaraco. John, the longtime head coach here, well respected, has had some outstanding squads. Been to the state finals. Remember a few years back, we went all the way out to Springfield to bring you the finals. <coughs> Bedford coming up a bit short in that one. I believe it was to Agawam. but has had many fine squads here at New Bedford High. And looks like there's a lot of potential for this group, which is young. So you could see in a year or two, this team really coming on strong. Here's a ball played here near side to one of those young players, Jean-Pierre. Only a sophomore, Jean-Pierre. Played it back. Brockton was there, but Gordado took it away for New Bedford. He'll change the field, try to give New Bedford some space to work. And a foul will be called against Brockton. New Bedford will bring up Mejia. Mejia. <laughs> 
Can he get this to a dangerous area? That's a nicely played ball, but off his line, the goalkeeper, Andre, makes the save. Ball was too close to the keeper. Needed to be a little bit further out so he couldn't get there. Again, Brockton trying to build their way out. Boxers with possession. Far side of the pitch, and they have no hesitation about playing it back, but ball goes beyond the sideline. Throw in for Brockton. Throw in here. Taking a lot of time, it's number two, Rodericks, Valdemar. <coughs> New Bedford with a takeaway. Uh, Brockton playing defensively here now. They have a 2 nothing lead. They'll be hard to stop. Roderick says, I don't like that ball. Give me that other one. And if the referee comes over and says, just play with what you have. But one, it's not your throw in. It's New Bedford's. No, it's Brockton's. Number five, Diego de Vega with that throw in along the sideline. Handball called against Brockton. The official saying no. Back up. Uh oh, he's going to his pocket. And he brings out a yellow card. Handed out a yellow card. Didn't see the number of the Brockton player, but I think when the Brockton player said the ball's supposed to be back there and told the official, put it back there, he didn't like that. Of all the stuff that's gone on here tonight, he didn't like being told where the ball should be placed. He went to his pocket and pulled out the yellow card, and Brockton will have to go to the bench here. They pulled the player out. I believe it was number 20, Tavares. The referee <laughs> did not like that. So New Bedford now with the free kick. Low free kick here, just advancing it along the sideline. Shot on goal and a save by the goalkeeper, Andrade. Not a difficult one to handle. New Bedford with a chance there, but Andrade with the save. Brockton will try to build again from the back line. They play it up the sideline. That'll go into that'll go into touch. It'll be a throw in for New Bedford. Guardado is there. Brockton with it. That was number nine, Fonts, in the lineup for the first time for Brockton. Now they're on the attack. There's a ball played to Fonts. He'll fire a long shot, and it's off the crossbar of the goalposts again. That was number nine, Nevin Fonts. Just over eight minutes left. 2-0 in favor of Brockton. The goalkeeper Molina with the goal kick for the Whalers. Middle of the field. New Bedford trying desperately to get on the attack. Brockton able to clear. Marrero. Got it to number 10, DeAndre, and then they work far side. Player hauled down right outside the edge of the box, but the foul was called on Brockton, not New Bedford. Now the Whalers trying to work quickly. Ball was, is loose, 
Jean-Pierre could not come up with it. Jean-Pierre with the throw and got it to Herrera. Herrera works to the goal line, looking for that cross in front, handled on one hop by the goalkeeper, Andrade. Brockton has been solid defensively and has played a, a well-rounded game. Very few turnovers from Brockton. Handball. Maybe a chance here for New Bedford. A player just played it ahead. The official saying, what are you doing? I already gave out one yellow card. You're asking for another? Here's Jean-Pierre. He's about 35 yards from goal. Going to try to get one in front. Fired it. Ball came loose. But off his line, the goalkeeper, Andrade, comes up with the save. Handball called against Brockton. New Bedford with it. Rail is attacking far side. Got it in front. Rosa got his head on it, but didn't get a lot on it. And the keeper, Andrade, again off his line to make the save. One of the few times tonight we've seen the punt from Brockton. That might be the first time we've seen it. Surprising because he had a big boot there. Played here near side. Herrera trying to track it down. Keep it in play. He's able to do so. Still had it. Herrera fighting hard. Ball goes beyond the sideline off of Brockton. And that was number nine, Fonts. So it'll be a throw in here. No, they'll say it's off of New Bedford. It's a throw in for Brockton. Here's Victor. Big throw in down the sideline. 14 for Brockton is Vieira Gonzalez. Tried to play it ahead. Jean-Pierre took it away for New Bedford. Jean-Pierre looking for the give and go. Jean-Pierre got it back. And yes, I think there is. Nope. I'm not sure if there was a handball call. The player is down for Brockton on the turf. It's number 14. Edelson Vieira Gonzalez. <laughs> Looks like he's going to be helped off to the sideline. Not sure, again, what type of injury. It's hard to tell. These leg injuries are so common because you just have shins colliding. Official here. Referee. I don't know if there is a call here. Brockton just punting it away. Final five minutes of play. Brockton with a 2 0 lead. Boxers have attacked and defended well. Not a one dimensional team at all. Throw in for the boxers. Number 10, the Andrade had it taken away. New Bedford attacking here. That was Jean Pierre again. We've called his name a lot here tonight, but he's not been able to get open. Had one opportunity and that was called offside when he thought he was onside. Oh, nice steal here again by Jean Pierre. 
Plays it to Herrera, looking for the give and go into space. They were getting it to Diego Tavares. Ball was put beyond the goal line, so that's going to be a goal kick. New Bedford still looking for one of these to connect. Herrera with the goal kick, I mean with the corner kick. Looks like he's going to go with the left foot, which is an outswinger. Here he goes. Ball to the far post, but Brockton there defending it well. And that's what the boxers have done here tonight. Defended well in their own end and then have attacked. Ball thrown in along the sideline. Brockton able to clear. Fisher blows the whistle for a break. Time out here. 2 0 in favor of Brockton. We're in the final five minutes of play. Joe Cabral with you on the New Bedford Cable Network. An impressive squad here for head coach Herminio Furtado. It's, the not, it's not the same old Brockton team at all. Very diversified squad, play the possession game, defend well, and attack. There you see the New Bedford sideline along with their head coach, John Masaraco. One of the goal scorers there, just showing his ball skills. Both teams back on the pitch. Another New Bedford player, Herrera, being helped off. <laughs> New Bedford with a throw in here. It looks like Guardado. Along the near sideline, into touch. Another throw in for the Whalers. Jean Pierre. Clear here. The Bedford's Mejia plays it far side. Ball played into the box. Again, well off his line. The goalkeeper, Nelson Molina, with the save. Plays it here near side. This is Marrero. Oh, they try to give and go with Marrero, then brought it back. Ball goes beyond the sideline. Another throw-in opportunity here for Brockton. In the closing minutes of a 2-0 game with Brockton in the lead. This is Marrero. Oh, he tried to split a pair of defenders and get a pass to number nine, Fonts. It was broken up by New Bedford. Ball goes beyond the sideline. It'll be a throw-in for Brockton. Ball played up the sideline. 
And then beyond the sideline, into touch, throw in here for Brockton. Boxers trying to add a little bit of insult to injury if they can. Leading New Bedford 2-0 as we're about to wrap this one up. Brockton will play it all the way back to their keeper, Andrade. He'll play it ahead. New Bedford Jean-Pierre trying to get it. Ball was blocked in front and Brockton able to clear. Mejia, far side. Now given away and Brockton with it. That's Fonts. Pass was behind its intended target. Should expect a whistle here shortly. Brockton intent on maintaining the shutout. They'll play a ball into space, however, and they have an opportunity here. Driving on goal. Oh, nice save, and it trickles close to the goal line, and Molina was able to get back on the ball after making a save that was trickling its way toward the goal and nearly crossed the goal line. Molina was able to react and get back to it. Fine save there by Nelson Molina. That's Mejia. Played it right off the back of a Brockton player who is turned around. New Bedford with it. Near side, Marrero. Tried to give and go, but it was a giveaway. New Bedford attacking here. That's number 12 for the Whalers, O'Leary. And then the ball was taken off his boot. Throw in for Brockton. Boxers go to the bench and bring in Jory Desire, number 22. First time we've seen him tonight. And that's it. The whistle blows to end this one. It was really Brockton in control tonight from start to finish. The possession game was all theirs. And they attacked successfully throughout the night, coming up with two goals. Those coming from number 15, Alexandro Morera in the 19th minute of the first half. Morera, only a junior made it 1-0 Brockton, and that's the lead that they held at the half. In the second half, the insurance goal was provided by number 18, Anthony Pina Santos, on a corner kick from Marrero, who had the assist. That came in the 64th minute, and it was 2-0 Brockton, and that's the way this one ended. That'll do it from Andre McCoy Stadium on the campus of New Bedford High School with a final score for a final time. It was the Brockton Boxers 2 and New Bedford nothing. For all of our staff here at the New Bedford Cable Network, I'm Joe Cabral. Thanks for joining us tonight, and have a good night, everyone.